Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Matt, here, and Lego Channel 62 here. So, uh, yes, as you have read the title, we are now going to be getting our third annual Lego Mock Marathon. Took um, a little bit shorter time than expected because of all the progress we got done on the first day. We got so, like half of it done. Alrighty, so with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin, and uh, hopefully you guys will very much enjoy the projects that we are going to show. Yeah, so, and all right, so the first one we're going to be doing is eight. So you can yeah, explain. Beetlejuice, and I basically created Saturn um, with the house and basically everything you see in the movie. But enough kitty chatter, and let's get right into so, the build. So here we have it. Here's my Beetlejuice project. As you can see, it's Saturn with a bit of extra stuff. So. Yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start over here with Saturn's sandworm. So, I'm gonna take this guy out. Um, I think I'll start at the tail. So, as you see, just like the one from Lego Dimensions, that pattern it has down there, I copied that pattern right here. So, it's black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, all the way up to the head. And something that I kind of want to show you is this part here. Um, this part, after you flip it over, has a sticker on here. But I think it's pretty cool because it attaches like that. And it kind of looks like a body part. And it's these two um, round pieces clipped together. And then over here, I got the two fins up there using um, construction feet pieces. And then up here, I have the head. I think the head looks really cool. So, um, to start off, we have the eyes back here for the big head, and then the little head doesn't have any eyes because so I couldn't attach it on. I originally wanted to make it so that it would like pop out the little head, but um, I didn't end up doing that because it was pretty hard to do once I added in all the teeth and everything and these parts. So, also these parts are supposed to be green, but I decided to make them brown. So, yeah, that's that part in. There's Saturn's sandworm. I can just get zoomed out shot. So next we'll move on to the actual house. Here's itself. Saturn, as you can see, it's on a really, really big base plate. And all across Saturn I have these little things, kind of like this. They're just sticking out, just like that. And they're just like everywhere. It makes Saturn look really cool. They had those in the movie, so I decided to put them in here. I also got this giant ball of green energy right here. It's standing up in this little piece. And yeah, so I like how I added that. I think it turned out really cool. And all across it, especially at the ends, I tried to use some curved pieces. Like that. And that's just like at these ends on the back. It's completely flat. But I did that to represent how Saturn looks. And I did them all across the top too. So I think it turned out to be a really cool design. Next up, we'll look at the actual house. So, actually, I'll cut the video now so that I could do a bit of stuff to it. And I'll show you the actual, yeah, the actual house. I'm going to start down here. And the little car in here is in the garage. Um, the character can't fit inside it while well, it's in the garage. But if we just take, let's say, for example, Beetlejuice here. It's going to get him. And place him in the car, like that he fits, and actually, if you want, another person could fit in the back there, so let's get, um, other Beetlejuice here, just like the Beetlejuice I created, and, not the back part off. but, yeah, so, I think that's pretty cool, got the two Beetlejuices riding this car, um, so, we'll put that off to the side for now. And we'll start at the top. So, I think this part looks really cool. Um, this part right here isn't removable, but there is an inside. I'll show you that after. So, yeah, the roof looks pretty cool. There's, just, uh, there's a peg here for something else that I'll show you later. But, we can actually remove the top right here off to reach the attic. Because the attic was a pretty big part in the movie. We just take that off. There we go. So we got the attic leveled on there. It's basically just a bunch of sloped pieces. And here we have the inside. So I think this looks really cool. We got a bunch of packet boxes, by the way, that all stick together. And here we have a very mini version of the model town. 
down over here. We got a bigger version of it. I'll get to that later though. So, thing looks pretty cool. So it's got that piece there and that kind of tower there. And actually, if you want, you could push this down. I'm not sure why it's not working right now, but I'll, I'll push down after. But yeah, so there you have the top or the attic actually. And take this off, and you can see the top that thing went down. So you reach the next floor. So let's just put it right there beside the other one. And here we have it. So I think this one looks really cool. Right here we got the um, each bedroom. Then we got Lydia's bedroom. So if we could take out Lydia, you could see what's in there. Basically just her bed and a lamp. Um, and I'm gonna leave Lydia out so we can review the characters I made after. And then the bathroom's in there with the, with the working door, just like that. And inside the bathroom, the toilet and the sink. I think that's pretty cool. And I think this looks pretty cool right here. And I actually really like this part here. So it's like this part, and then it has this thing in it there with all these um, posts at the bottom there. Same with this one. The exact same thing. So next we can move on to the next floor. And just take this off. Just like that. And here we have the next floor. Looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm not sure we got uh, Lydia's mom right in there. Or Delia. And then there's a living room. And it has two chairs and a TV there. And it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we got inside here, it's just a door. And it's also there. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, nothing really much inside here, just the stairs. And um, if you want, you could take off these roof tiles. So that one comes off. That one comes off. Just may have to be careful. Because when I take this off, it if he breaks. So and here's the inside of there. It's just all Delia's weird sculptures. And I just made them completely random. So yeah, that's that. Um and down here you see there's a door. Well not really a door, it's just completely open. But if you want to open that up, take that off, and inside here is the laundry room. Oh the laundry machine door came off. Yeah, so it's a laundry machine inside there. The door there. It's not really much um this part at all, it's kinda of falling over. But yeah. Um not much inside there. And then there's the garage. Really nothing in there. And then here's this part, so I kinda of create this right there. And there's Adam and Barbara. And I think they look like pretty cool characters. And uh what you could actually do with them is so let's say I wanna take out I think, never mind, I'll show you the characters later. So, yeah. And I could stack all these together. And, oh, and then I'll show you what it looks like all together. So, let me just stack those up. It's like this, and like that. And there's the house. All we together. have the other two rooms, there's a waiting room there, and then here we have Juno's office. So, let's start at the waiting room. And here we have four characters, well technically five, if you're counting Miss Argentina there. Um, right, I'm just actually going to take her out. There we go. So she was sticking out really good there. Um, so we have Subalba, this guy, not really sure who that is, I guess it's Black c guy, and we have an alien and a racer man, so, there you go, racer man, racer man's kind of supposed to represent the small headed guy, this guy has, well, I guess a broken arm, and he died with a broken arm, um, that, and then here we have Subalba, with one mechanical leg and just a mechanical leg lying around there. And alien dude. Take him out. 
I can. There we go. And he's missing both his hands. <laughs> Anyways. So, next up here, we have Duno's office. There's Duno down there. Um, and over here we have all those football players. I made them wearing Iron Man masks because they kind of look like football helmets. So, I'm just going to take them all out there. Like I do with all the characters. And... Like that, and... Like that, and... And over here we have the guy on the... Uh, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if you remember, but there's that guy on the zip line. And he was really flat because he got run over by a car, so I created him there. I think it looks pretty cool. There's a skeleton right here. We saw a lot of skeletons in the movie. And then there's these opening little gates here. Pretty cool like that. And then here's Juno's desk. Besides that, oh, there's a clothesline here. There's a little apartment for him to go in. But besides that, nothing much else here. So... Final part will be moving on to the model. So town. here's the model town. I actually looked at a picture of this online and I copied exactly what I saw. So starting on this side, well first we got those legs there. I like how I created the legs to hold up the model town. I think it was really well done. So yeah, anyways, um I have all these trees and then there's a random thing plain field there. Um so we got some houses over here. Really nice looking houses. This one looks really cool. I added a mini Ant Man in there as a character. And another one, there's another mini Ant Man in there. Uh and if you if you didn't know, I have two of these mini Ant Man oh or he has two of these mini Ant Mans because um whenever you get one of these micro figures they always come with an extra. So then there's some more there and some trees behind there. There's Adam and Barbara's graves. And over here we got a church, and then some more buildings. Um, I tried to copy these exactly as close as I could. And there's a giant mountain, and then Adam and Barbara's house. That looks similar, right? Yeah, so, this is just like, not meant for minifigure scale or anything. I just wanted it so that you could see everything in detail here. And, so you have it. And I just want to show you the minifigures quickly after this. Characters. Here we have Lydia. This thing looks pretty cool. Her dress turned all black. They gave her this piece to represent that she has that net over her face all the time. And then here we have the six football players. Um, I gave them all the Iron Man helmets, which looks pretty cool. And they all have pretty cool torso designs. And next up this is a skeleton. Um, we saw a lot of skeletons in the movie, so I thought, why not include him? He's actually one of the robo-skeletons from the Lego movie. Next up, Sue Bulba, and I thought, well, I was adding random characters in the waiting room anyways, so why not add him? As you can see, he's using Darth Vader's leg and one of his own legs. And then here we have Barbara. You can see I switched out the heads. This is actually the one where they morph, where Adam and Barbara morph their heads into something else to become more scary. Well, as you know, told them. And we have Barbara's other head just down there. Then Miss Argentina. It looks pretty cool. I use the same hair as Barbara and the legs of Vitruvius. And then here we have Adam. Here's his other head. It's a lot smaller than Barbara's, but that's how it was in the movie. So I like how it's done. Next up we have the um, broken arm guy. He got an arm that's on the wrong side and a black C-3PO head. And then here we have the alien guy. I think he looks pretty cool. Then there's Juno. I really like how Juno's done. He has a mini legs, hair, and a smoke pipe. Then Eraser Man. Well, he's just Eraser Man. And then finally, Beetlejuice. Um, here's a comparison. I like the hair I used. The face looks pretty good. And the rest of them, I couldn't find stripes, so I just did black and white things. And I think it turned out well. So, let me just get a wide shot. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get a wide shot so big, but... So yeah, there you guys have it. Oh, I actually forgot one more thing. Beetlejuice Snake. Um, he's really cool. Looks pretty nice. But, yeah. So there you guys have it. And I hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, don't forget to um, drop a like. That would be appreciated. And let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. And what you think the next two projects are going to be about. But I guess that's it. So, yeah.